Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Minister Doc Tucker back at you with a word, man, and a word of prayer. Well, God is so good, boy. I'm telling you, and if you're watching me this morning, the blessings of God is upon your life. Yes, the blessings of God is upon your life because everybody didn't wake up this morning. Boy, God is so good. And oh, yeah, by the way, I don't have the copyright for this for the music that you're hearing in the background. Yes, I don't have the copyright for it, man. And it's a very awesome music there, boy. Listen. Yeah, God is so good. And, 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 and if you don't mind, hit like over there while you while, while you watching this, while you listening to this video. And while you're watching it, hit like over there. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to Minister Doc Tucker yet, and you think I do a pretty good and you think I do a pretty good job for the Lord, hit subscribe and hit the notification. That means that every time that I'm online, that you would always be notified and you would always be able to come and get that word. I'm talking about man for real. This is the beginning of the week. God is so good. You know, and, I, and the only thing I can say to you is just the words that keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. Boy, God is so good. He's good to me in my life, and he's good to you in your life. Yes, I said he's good to me, and he's also good to you, boy, I tell you. But I, but I need you right now. I need you to get your Bibles and go with me into the book of Micah, chapter 7. Yes, Micah, chapter 7, boy. God is so good, and I want you to receive this word. I want you to get it today, and I want you to go back and read it for yourself today. Today, this is the beginning of the week, boy, and I want you to, and this, this word that I'm finna give you, it's a, this is a shouting word. This is a, these two scriptures, these two scriptures, they are shouting scriptures. And this is saying what the Lord has done for you and me. Are you ready? Micah chapter 7, we're going to start reading in verse 18 and 19. And it says, and it reads, who is a God like you? pardoning iniquity and passing over the trans transgression of the remnant of his heritage. Oh, hold on for a minute. Put this. Man, look, look at that. Let me read it again. The music, I got sidetracked a little bit. Yes, I did because I was listening to the music was just getting all out there and I want you to get this. Yes, I want you to get it. Sometimes things happen. Stop complaining. <laughs> Verse 18 <laughs> And it says, who is a God like you, parting iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? Mm. He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. Mm. My God, my God. He will gain, he will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. Check this out now. And you will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea and he would cast all our sins in the depths of the sea. That's why I tell you, that's why I keep saying to you, but place your hands in Jesus' hands. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life, today all you have to do is say, I surrender. I don't want to live for the world no more. I don't want to live for Satan no more. And then you can and, and confess Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and God raised him up in three days. Confess that Jesus lived. Com excuse me. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life. Renounce Satan while you have time, while God is near. Renounce Satan today and receive Jesus Christ as your life. And ask, and just all you have to do is say that you surrender and ask for him to send you help. Ask him to send you help in the name of Jesus. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life and your life will change. He said that you will go through trials and tribulations. Yes, he said it. And some of us will go through afflictions. But he said that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. But whoo, Holy Ghost. Come on now. And see, that's what I'm saying to you. So this morning, in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. This is the beginning of the week. Keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. The words that trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. That's what I'm talking to you about this morning. Continue to plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family. Sending you and your family in the blood of Jesus and applying the arm of God over you and your family today because it, you know, I'm talking about there's so much going on. So much happening. School is back in. Pray over your children before they leave and go to school. Pray over them. I'm talking about pray over them before they leave the house. Pray over your husband. Pray over you. Pray over each other. Pray over your household. I'm talking about because God is able. God is able. What well, man is not able God is able. He said, I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. You can't do nothing. I'm telling you, yeah, you can do nothing without Jesus. You can do nothing without him. 
but you can but you can do all things in Christ who strengthens you. And this week, claim the victory of Jesus over your week. Over, over your week, claim the victory of Jesus. Claim healing over your claim. Claim healing over your life, mentally, physically, socially, spiritually, and financially. For every situation, every circumstance, and every need, and every area in you and your family's life, claim the healing and deliverance of Jesus Christ over your life this week. Claim grace and mercy over your life. Claim peace and rest in your life. I'm talking about right here, right now. If you don't claim it over your own self in your own house, you will not have it. Yes, stop asking people to pray for you when you can pray for yourself and God is looking to hear from you. So today, go back and read Micah chapter 7. Go back and read Micah chapter 7, verses 18 and 19. Go back and get it for yourself today. Yeah, go back and get it for yourself today. What are you believing God for? This is the beginning of the week. You know what I'm saying? This is the this is the beginning of the week. And I keep saying this. This is the beginning of the week. What are you believing God for? He's waiting. And when I said that to you about people call people all the time, pray for me. God want to hear from you. God wants to hear from you. Yes. Yeah. So today, this Sunday morning is the beginning of the week. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Yes, I said. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Mm. Mm. God loves you, so do I. Yes, I love you. Yeah, I love you. You know I love you. Don't be trying to act crazy. You know I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to tell you I love you. You know, and, and if you require prayer, hit me in my inbox and then leave your prayer requests in my inbox. Or you can come on. Or, or I have a just a prayer away. Mr. Doc Tucker has a I have a prayer on Facebook that's called Just a Prayer Away. And God is just a prayer away. Hit my inbox or hit my and message me through just a prayer away on Facebook and leave your and make your prayer request known and we'll get that when when we'll get down in it we'll get down to it we'll get down to it yes or you could just leave them in the inbox and if you want to pray with me if you want to pray with me you leave your phone number and I'll call you yes I said it I'll call you yeah but you know the word said obedience is, uh, obedience is better than sacrifice leave your telephone number in the inbox and I'll call you <laughs> okay. Well, I tell you, God is good. God is so good this morning, boy. But today I want to and encourage you to continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't just look straight ahead. Focus on Jesus. And remember now, you know, the word said that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Don't let anybody place you in condemnation because there is no condemnation because we are in Christ. You know, and every day. And I'm, and I'm up early this morning, boy, and I'm, I'm excited this time of morning. I'm excited. I got my electronics and stuff is going crazy and, and stuff cutting off and cutting back on and all that. We know what's happening, but why ain't giving I ain't giving them no credit at all? I'm not giving anybody credit. I'm giving only credit I'm giving it to God and to, to, to God be the glory. So again, today continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Hands have a wonderful Sunday, a day of worship as you go to church, as you turn on the TV, whatever you do to worship. Have a wonderful day of worship. God bless you and your family in the wonderful and holy and mighty name of, the, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Share this video with a friend. Amen, amen, and amen.